He's going to Baldwin. <laughs> Good morning, rail fans. This is part two of the Callahan Junction video. Uh, we had stayed overnight in Jacksonville. We had to pick up uh, my wife's sister so we could go to a wedding uh, that afternoon and uh, couldn't raise anybody, so we decided to drive over here to Brandy's Avenue and see what might be happening until some of the kin folks got up out of bed. Little did we know, as soon as we opened the car door, we already heard the horn blowing on this particular train. And boy, there's more action packed stuff coming on, so stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. got here at this location we noticed that um, there was a truck parked in the uh, space that I like to get in which is um, about a hundred yards um, straight down the track from the way the trains come in. It's out of the way it's where you can see the track you can see the junction a little better. Uh, with the pickup truck you have the advantage of a uh, height so it um, makes it easier to see the track but there was a fellow sitting there and little did I know at that time that he was actually a rail fan too. Uh, there was someone working on the building and so we assumed it was somebody there. Uh, later on though, um, I actually got a chance to meet this fella. Turns out he's a fellow named RV Rail Fan and uh, he gave me some inside information uh, about a train that's coming up pretty soon. And um, like I say, it's just action packed today. I've never seen this many trains in this short of time. In one hour, we had seven trains come by, uh, two Amtraks, and one special CSX transportation, uh, four freight trains, all in an hour and about five minutes. Pretty awesome. This is the disadvantage of being on the side of the road here. Um, some people actually pull almost all the way up to the cross arm. And there's a signal box that uh, really hampers your view. And so, uh, since I couldn't get in the spot I like to get in, this is the uh, second best. I was glad to be here. As you can see, the signal box is there. I try my best not to trespass on the uh, railroad property. I don't want to get in uh, in a bad way with the railroad people. And uh, I do respect the property and um, I hope you will too as you're out there. Uh, this is a dangerous hobby uh, when you're very close to these trains. So just keep that in mind because we want to keep it safe and fun and um, not be banned from being able to do what we like to do and that is video trains.
this was a total surprise. We had no clue it was going to be an Amtrak uh, people hauler and auto hauler coming by here. Uh, I've seen these before, but never up close and personal. Uh, we thought it was a real treat to be able to be here this morning and see this Amtrak come by. you could hear my scanner most of the time you hear that scratching you don't hear anything that's being said maybe I need about a 16 foot whip on the bumper to help uh, gather some signal but uh, in this area it's been hard for us to do, hear the um, load numbers and details about what trains are what and where they're headed uh, I like to know that but it's uh, it's okay I know this is a tanker train with ethanol, and uh, that's about all I need to know, but it's a lot of fun to know the destinations and origin points. Uh, I keep saying I need to record my scanner so that I can take go back and listen to it to try to see if I can't decode uh, the scanner jargon. And what you can't see here is there is a um, a siding on the same area this train's headed down. Uh, there is a CSX train waiting there. He was he pulled up and I was starting to video and he got on the siding and actually cut his lights off, 
waiting for all these trains to clear out. He will come by. He'll be the last train out on this video. And uh, again, it'd be best if I could uh, hear a little better on that scanner, but I'm a newbie. That's the way it goes. What you can't see from this location is this train is coming off of track one and he has to go through a switch to be able to get on this curve to make it down, make the junction down to the Callahan sub to go to Baldwin. Uh, from this location, uh, you don't really be able to see that very good. sitting on that siding and he finally gets to go to head northbound many times we've been at places where we've seen the locomotives have to start and they begin their pull and uh, the slow and deliberate pull they make to get things going without breaking couplers and pulling cars off the track it's pretty slick operation but um, he finally got the go after waiting for all the trains that came by here uh, pre on this previous part of the video. Uh, he's been sitting there the whole time. the scanner light up and it was talking about the uh, defect detector I heard the mile marker I'm I'm at a loss to what some of the mile markers are here but I know that there's one north of here and one south of here and I had jotted those numbers down <clears throat> so I realized there was something on the way uh, I had no clue what was coming but I knew by that that defect detector that something had cleared it and well uh, because of the mileage uh, I knew that it was it was north of here.
I looked up the number on the um, CSX map that I had and realized that scanner, that defect detector was at Hilliard, Florida, which is north of there, about seven or eight miles. <clears throat> so I knew something was down coming this way. And like I say, I was surprised at what came. At the same time, this freight heading north uh, was still trying to get up to track speed through that switch. surprised it was another Amtrak this time it was just uh, passengers only <clears throat> but that's uh, an awesome thing to see come by that has to be one kind of ride to be a Amtrak pilot to be in there the engineer driving that train uh, it's been a good day we had a lot of activity and uh, I told my wife on a previous visit here that we probably need to be here uh, just about daylight and uh, catch this uh, traffic that comes from uh, Jacksonville, Folkestone, Baldwin, uh, pretty much any place in the state can uh, make it through this area. Appreciate you watching and uh, hope you've enjoyed this and uh, we'll keep doing what we like to do, videoing trains. <laughs>